Okay, here's an update on this um, blinker circuit that I've got driving a uh, pulse motor here. And I fiddle around a little bit more, and, and uh, it was a, suggested that I try a pot here, which is how I initially set the value of this thing. And then I uh, uh, just put it with fixed resistor. So I went back to the potentiometer, it's a one meg pot. And by fiddling around with this and that, whatever, I got this thing running uh, under a volt. And uh, it's uh, milliamp or less, so we're almost into the microamp uh, pulse motor uh, using one of these solar garden light um, panels. You get them in the solar garden lights. And uh, this is the modification to the circuit. Uh, this is a one meg pot instead of the 100K resistor. And then this is the uh, electrolytic cap. It's a 330 microfarad uh, electrolytic capacitor with a solar garden light panel and with this thing here you can vary the blink rate of the LED and uh, get that synced up better with the uh, I think it's a resonance I think I've got some kind of resonance with the inertia and the mass of the rotor going around synced up with the blink and then there's a feedback that goes back to the coil that counter or not counter but it, it overlaps the blink rate to keep this thing running but there's my uh, there's my amp or uh, the uh, voltage on the thing right there it's uh, under a volt and uh, this is a uh, late afternoon here in Southern California or at 34 degrees uh, north latitude um, late in the afternoon but yeah I thought I would give you an update that I, I uh, went to potentiometer here which really helped with the blink rate and then I put a little capacitor there with a solar panel and now I've got a solar solar powered uh, device pretty fun